at what point do you kind of abandon the the uh, since atheism it 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 might so the the whole point of debate for me is sometimes most of the time to convince the other person um, mm-hmm. that you may be more right than them and to bring them on your side um, or at least an audience and if you're being labeled at athe- as atheist um, and there's multiple definitions based on different contexts. At one point, does it become pretty counterproductive to hold on to that title? Because um, you're fighting a battle uphill at that point. Everyone thinks atheism means what it's not or not the type of atheism that you are. And, and now your job is to inform them what atheism is. And then at that point, they may have already kind of dismissed you because they don't hold the same beliefs as you to begin with. I mean, we, they, do, well, they don't have to have the same beliefs for us to have a discussion. Yeah, no, that, that's not it. The whole point, the, yeah, the whole I, point I of having it is... Yeah, uh, yeah okay, I missed okay. book on that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just uh, psychologically, it's kind of like, it, it's a barrier. It's like if, if a lot of maybe religious people think atheism, oh, well, what's wrong with you? Hmm. Um, how could you say hmm. such thing? They, they hold the very emotional attachment to, to their gods. But then if, if you come at it um, as an agnostic, they go, okay, so you're someone who... Uh, mm. doesn't know either way and therefore you you might be on my side or you might be on their side they're more open to listening to you in, in this kind of debate so i i think you you do make a reasonable point I, I i do think that um but i would also say that this is why specifically um there has been a whole group of people that that are taking this tact right like yes it is a very uphill battle um we are very much rolling a very large boulder and getting crushed over it repeatedly and having to do that over and over. But the reason that that so many people have taken that route is specifically because of um, this misconception, right? And this, you know, othering that happens from the beginning. And so there are a bunch of different places, whether it's, you know, I saw Neil the 604 atheist was in the chat, uh, whether it's, you, you know, uh, producer Wes or, um, you know, Sonny Shell, you know, whether it's um, student Dr. Ben, Eric Murphy, Vila Bianca, like Dave Warnock. There, there's a whole collection and growing of, of really wonderful individuals who are trying to kind of change the face and change that narrative. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess it could be argued in the whole broad scope of things when, you know, when we're able to zoom out and look at 500 years worth of history, maybe the better tact would have been for us to use a slightly less taboo word. Um, But there's part of taking back that term, right? That, that is really, really important. And that alone could actually be the biggest catalyst for people just getting to, people to change their understanding in their head that instead of this word meaning this definition, it actually means this thing. Maybe that alone is what causes people to, to start at the very least stop criminalizing and, and um, you know, dehumanizing and literally killing atheists in the streets. Right. Like maybe they don't stop believing tomorrow. Maybe they're still Jewish or Hindi, but at the very least they're not, you know, putting us in jail anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so let me, um, I'm going to quickly address this as well. I'm actually very much in favor of going with the most taboo word because um, the main part of our activism is not to convince them that they're wrong. The main part of our activism is for us to fight the demonization of the groups of people uh, that they're demonizing. Right. So, we want to use the label especially the labels that are used for demonizing groups of people. So to, to normalize our existence, right? So I don't want to go with the, I, I don't want to go with the label that makes it easier for them to accept us because that's the, the fact that they don't accept atheists is the exact thing that we're trying to remedy here, right? I don't want to keep tiptoeing around like their sensitivities. No, like the, the, we want to, we want to normalize atheism. If agnosticism is already normalized, then what, are, what the hell, why would I call myself an agnostic? If like free thinkers, skeptics, humanists, these are all normalized and there's no, that, they're not that taboo. I don't want those labels. I want the label that we need to lo- normalize. The, 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 the things like, for example, if I'm making an um, Arabic group, I will call my, the group Mortads, right? Like the, mm-hmm. exactly the most 
the name that has the most the amount of demonizations associated with it, right? right? So this is this is not just a debate club. Uh, this is a human rights uh-huh. uh, issues. We are we are, are a group of people like atheists are one of the most attacked and demonized um, and discriminated against my, minorities in the world, right? And this is not just about hey, let's let's debate Islam is true or atheism is the most uh-huh. uh, sensical. No, no, we we are actually talking about people's rights and their lives and trying to create a community to protect them and for them to feel like they belong there. So we are obviously going to go pick the most demonized terms that we could find. And I, I think I also think that, you know, that's one one reason why I kind of like I still do watch the the atheist theist debates and stuff. But one reason I kind of stopped being so focused on that is because a lot of time the debate in the debate, it, a lot of time is spent just being like, well, what kind of God do you believe in? You know? Like, because you say, well, your God's not all good. And the person goes, well, I don't think my God is all good. And it's like, well, okay, we just wasted a bunch of time. Or the theist says, well, you're claiming that all gods are impossible. And it's like, well, no, I'm not. And so I think one of the one of the tacks that is really, really helpful is just getting on camera and just saying, hey, I don't believe in God. I'm a normal person, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's like. Yeah, I get that. I get that that word may be offensive to people. I get that people may have a misconception about it. But that's why it's so good that we have somebody, you know, out there that's like a genetically modified skeptic, you know, who just has massive channel and is just able to say, like, I'm a non-believer. I don't believe in God. Atheism. Cool. You know, that just yeah. it just makes it easier for us to have that more difficult conversation later on down the yeah, road. Yeah, I understand. That that makes a lot of sense. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.